everyone, it's Amanda from Crafty Fit, and today I am coming to you from my floor. Um, as you guys currently know, I am working on redoing my crafty space, and so I don't have a desk anymore. So I'm sitting here on the floor, and I really was thinking about what I wanted to show you guys, and I was kind of getting out like a little package of what, like a little tub that I am going to keep out while I am doing the room transformation, just to kind of keep my uh, creative juices going. And so the, um, the bin has all my pages left over from 30 days of sketches. I believe there is nine that I still need to do. Um, so I have all that. I have some of the scraps. I actually ended up putting all of the, like the big bag of ephemera and stickers. I started putting those back, um, just because I was trying to reorganize my space a little bit before, um, painting and moving and all that jazz. So I was adding things to this little container and I wanted to add in my fall and my um, Halloween stuff and it got me thinking I have a lot of Halloween stuff um, and fairly new stuff so I wanted to show you guys what my Halloween collection is. I might break this down into two different um, videos I'm not sure but the first video I'm going to show you guys is all of my like little embellishments that I have um, mainly for um, scrapbooking or doing embellishments all that jazz so I decided that I was going to put I had my um, Halloween fall um, stuff in a iris container and I think I might still try to go back to that I'm not quite sure I think once I do my room redo um, and I do apologize for the lighting guys like I literally I don't have nothing so um, I'm really trying to work with what I have so I used to have all this stuff into iris containers and then I had to use my iris containers for um, other papers like my scraps and everything so I think when I redo the room I'll do something similar but right now they're in this box from Michaels and these are my Halloween and fall um, little stickers and just things that kind of go with the theme um, so we'll go ahead and we will dive in and see what I have in here so some of this is new some of its old um, so the first thing is we have this stamp collection from Spooky Nights, and so I have that stamp. I also have a couple more stamps, but I don't know where they're at. They gotta be in here somewhere. Oh, here they are. I also have this stamp right here, which I love the stamp. Um, it's probably one of my favorites that I use all the time. And then I have these two right here, Eat, Drink, and Be Scary, and then Trick or Treat. So those are really all the stamps that I have for um, Halloween. I'm not sure about fall. I still have to like go through my fall um, stuff, but we'll see. So um, I have these just like everywhere, but I do have this collection. Um, I thought I had more of it. Maybe I don't. Let me see. I might have moved it. Okay, here we go. So this is from Pebbles Spooky Collection. This is the Phrase Ephemera. So I have those. I have the puffy stickers from this collection. Um, and then I have the icons. So super cute. I really do like those. Um, they're new from my stash. And then I have a whole bunch of stickers from American Greetings and I did just recently haul these so um, I'm just going to go really quick. I have these eyeballs. I have this. I love this one. I want wanted this one like this one right here. I probably will um, 
give my daughter the other set, but this one I'm going to keep because I just love them. We have the little hippie ghost. We have these puffy um, dinos, which my daughter will get one of those. And then we have some pumpkins, so we're getting more into the fall. And this one, I love it. It's got the donuts, it's got the pumpkin spice, everything. Super cute. And then this one right here is um, just flat stickers. So I have these ones right here. I really like this blue. And then I have this sticker sheet as well. <laughs> Sorry guys, so I have these stickers right here. And I really, really um, like those. So I got those. I also have um, some sticker books. So these are from Happy Fall. So I have those stickers, which I have kind of used some of these stickers up. So those are more folly. Um, I kind of keep these all together because. I t well, I didn't have a whole lot, and I'm thinking maybe once I redo my space, I'll have to consider um, how I store my fall and Halloween stuff. And this one is called A Hello Autumn, and that's Cartabella, so I have those two sticker books. Um, I also have some stickers from Joann's this year, so I picked up these, Goofy Eyes. And then these are super cute. So I picked up both of those. And then I just have some random bits in here. Um, let's just go ahead and just pull it out. I have some of these stickers I got from a yard sale. I have some ephemeras from Say Cheese. So those are cute. I have these Jolie stickers from a yard sale. I have these two um, really cool um, things that I made using some old recollections uh, stuff. I have some Say Cheese, Simple Stories, a stencil. I just keep that in there. I have these really old Jolie's Boutique Dimensional stickers. So would like to use some of these up this year. Um, these uh, little mini icons from Doodlebug, and I don't know what collection this is. Oh, Candy Carnival. So super cute. You actually get two sheets with different ones. So I have those. I have a, another old Jolie's sticker. This is Trick or Treat. I definitely want to try to use that up this year too. Um, I have these um, from Happy Haunting. I think I have like two of these collections and I'm okay with it because I love this collection. Like the pinks and the, and the oranges. I just love. And then I have one more sticker pack. So this is from Halloween Party. I was not able to get the paper pad, but I did get that. I have this random little baggie full of random stickers. So just like some cute little stickers that were like 99 cents or something like that from Michaels. So I just keep them in this little bag. I have a um, Shadney's um, shop. I got this last year when she first opened. Uh, she's got amazing stuff. I have that, uh, which says Happy Halloween. And I also have this blue and then this one right here with the bats. So I definitely want to try to use those this year as well. This is like a pack of those um, little border strips. So I have a lot of them, um, but there's like a pumpkin one. This is pretty older product, but I do like it. I have just some random pieces of scrap paper that I need to put back. Um, and then I also have this um, thicker sheet. So have that. And then I have 
some random pieces from Fancy Pants. This is like a little, they're like glitter pieces, so I just kind of threw them in here. So that way, let me see if you guys can even see these. This is kind of, there you go. And then this one is a storm cloud. So I figured those would be perfect. Let me move all this stuff out of the way. Um, I also have some of these that I made. I have like a couple of them. Super cute. So they could go on some projects. I also have this um, from Carni Candy Carnival. Little little uh, doodle pops. I know that they're very popular. I also have this like, this is all from just like random pieces. So I have this ribbon for some, the webs. I don't even know what I'm talking about. And then this is actually really cool. It's like a wired um, burlap. So it's very pretty. I also have some little um, eyelets, brads that I like. So I think I'm going to try to store these some other way, but for now they're in there. And then for Halloween, I have like this goodie bag of stuff, like literally just all kinds of stuff. I feel like I have two goodie bags, but like this has just like little, little pieces, little, um, glitter pieces, little, like, I don't even know, mummies, ghosts, some candy. And then like these little witches are super cute with little googly eyes. So this is just like kind of like a whole bunch of random mishmash stuff that I have in here. Um, I do plan on trying to go through it, um, because I don't know if I'm going to use all of this stuff, but it would be nice to get some projects done. So we'll see, but I wanted to show you guys cause I mean, I think it's pretty cool how much I've grown with, uh, my collection. So these are just kind of some other random bits and pieces. I have a, I think this is from a uh, page kit I put together. So I will definitely use that. I have just like some random, these can probably go back in the um, other piece, but that's okay. And then just some, these are from Hey Pumpkin. And then I have these little um, brads in this. And so these are more along the lines of uh, fall, but I do love them. So, And then we get into um, fall embellishments. Um, and I'll show you guys. I only have a little bit of them. So I got these from um, Hobby Lobby this year. I've had these for a while. I used these a lot on pages. I It was like 20 and I'm pretty sure I'm down to like maybe 10 to 15 or 40, sorry. I have some Jolie's, like little leaves, some Jolie's pumpkins. I love these pumpkins. They're so cute. So I got those. I have some leaves. Got these right here that are the truck with the pumpkins in the back. Um, and then I have some sunflowers. And these leaf stickers are super cute. And then look at these little pumpkins that are gingham. I think I've hauled those. Um, and then I have this little, just like woodland and just scraps of this collection that I had. So that is it for the embellishments. Um, and let's see if we can go into, um, let's 
go into my collection. So you guys will see, I have these like little plastic things that I like to keep, like newer collections that I get, or um, if I get a piece of a collection. So for this one, I've had Hey Pumpkin for a while now, um, but I got other items with it and knew I had this paper pad. So I decided to just stick them all together and just kind of work with them if I wanted to. So I got the ephemera crepe paper from this collection. I'm not sure if these stickers are for it, but I did just add them in there because they're new and I really wanted to um, use them. So I have those. I have the chipboard sticker sheet, which I'm super excited about. So there's like some glitter elements in there as well. And then I have the paper pad. Now I've used this paper pad um, since last year. I think I did a couple layouts for um, last year's 30 days of sketches with it. And then this year I um, used it for a couple of my um, sketches for, or not sketches, but um, when I was going on that spending freeze and just making a whole bunch of kits and stuff, I uh, used a lot of that. So I have that as one collection. Then I have this smaller collection right here, which is new. Um, I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to show you guys what I have. So I have the, um, the kit. So it comes with some stickers and just all kinds of stuff. Um, I have the uh, Spooky Nights foam stickers. So that's what it looks like. I have the puffy stickers. I have been addicted to puffy stickers lately, like no other. And then I had to get the brads because I just had to. So that is another collection. And then I have this collection right here. This is newer to my collections as well because I never have owned anything fancy pants like a collection before so I have let's see like all these papers and I love how it looks it looks very cute um I get the enamel dots with it so I have those with that and then I have the ephemera which is super cute and I feel like this like pink can go with a lot of other collections like this one right here like they they just intertwine so well together so I'm super excited to be able to use them all together when I'm done and then the last um collection I think I'm gonna do uh another video of just my paper like my loose paper with collections um after this so in case you're not into a whole bunch of paper, then yeah, you don't have to watch it. So the next one that I have is considered for me a fall collection and it is the um, Bungalow Lane from Paige Evans. So this is new. I have two um, of the Femra because I really, really wanted the ephemera. I have these really fluffy, cute leaves. And then I have um, these really fun epoxy shape stickers. I don't know, I think they're really cool. So I have those, I have this copper um, piece because I just thought it was so pretty. Let me see if I can like turn this over and you guys can like see some of it. It's so pretty. And then I got the paper pad because I couldn't just not get the paper pad. I loved everything. I love all these colors. I love how it can go with spring or um, fall. And I just feel like, I don't know, I've seen so many cute layouts with it and I cannot wait to um to use it so 
I got the paper pad. And then I'm just going to show you guys one more paper pad I have is this one right here. It's called the Halloween. This is from Die Cuts with a View. And let's just flip through. So it's very folly and um, like Halloween. So it goes from fall, which I love this sheet. Like this sheet is my favorite. And then this has like some pumpkins on it. It's got some gold accents. It's very pretty. Um, love this wood grain. And then here is like some more. These are like little bats. And then there's like little ghosties. More bats. I love that side. Love this side. I love this side. I love the spider webs. And then this is super cute. So, um, love this paper pad. So I'm going to pause it here guys and I'm going to make a new video about all of my loose paper because it is a full stack and if you don't like paper I figured I could do collections and embellishments in one and then I'll do paper in the other one. So I will be back with the um, fall and it's kind of like my loose paper I guess. Um, so I will be back and let me know um, if you have a uh, favorite go-to uh, collection for, for fall and for um, Halloween this year because I've seen so many cute ones and had to stop myself and just get the ones that I got. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!